Michelle, and we wrote two poems. We put these poems together after a long, hard commute in the subway. On our way to our weekly Sunday meeting. The title of my poem is Only When I Rush. It's early in the morning, blankets warm, feel so good. Raindrops sitting against my window. My bed doesn't want to let me go. I struggle with myself, remembering I have a place to be at. Knowing that I can't be in bed all day, I try to view things in a better way. I'm running late already. Train is the only thing that can save me. Full of hope that everything is in working order. Once I reach the station, I'm on the ground waiting for the train. An outlook searching for bright lights and blue. The E train is nowhere to be found. I was supposed to be on the train 10 minutes ago, yet there's no sign of my train. Nothing left to do but simply wait. Rats run down the tracks in search of food. Their calm and peaceful serenity shines and gives me a clue. For if, I, if they don't feel vibration, they have nothing to run from. That's when I finally knew my train isn't going to come. In despair, I waited for the train with a big orange circle filled with the letter F just to realize it was going noble. How was I not supposed to go the same? Then I remembered few things in a positive way. So I came to my senses and figured I'm already late. Calm down, I thought to myself, there will be better days. After a while of being on the train, I reached my destination. So I thought. So I saw how far away I was from my actual destination. Ah, I wanted to shout, but no, remember to view things from a different perspective. So I walked until I reached my goal direction. And it was then I had gained a new perception. It all came off because my objective was met. I was able to reunite with Michelle, my mentor, and it all worked out and we did what we do best. We took paper and pen and wrote down our what was known as stress. <laughs> my piece is called Hope, Despair, and the Wisdom of Rats. 9 a.m. I wake up a little later than I wanted to. The tip tap of the rain, part lullaby, Learn me back to sleep and part disturbance. Fifteen more minutes. That ought to do it. Nine thirty. Oh man, I have got to get up and get ready. I have some place to go. Someone special to meet. Melissa. Nine fifty. <laughs> I look out the window. I hope the walk to the subway won't be too bad. If I leave now, I'll get the A and get to girls right now in a half hour. 10 a.m. <laughs> so much for hope. The rain followed me into the subway stop. You'll have to get past me to see her, it seems to say. The rain poured onto the tracks. The rats looked at me from across the platform. No, uh say the rats. <laughs> the big one looks north. I sigh. It's cold outside. Back to the rain. Despair. 10.15. Another stop. Hope is renewed. The, the rain has not followed me here. Good! I have some place to be. I am anxious and pacing. I look to the rats. They know what's up. <laughs> They'll tell me if the train comes. They look busy, though. Foraging. I don't want to interrupt. Time ticks by. Tick tock, tick tock, hope despair, hope despair. <laughs> Tell me something, Mr. Rat. 10.30. Finally, he looks up and scurries across the tracks. Hope! A light, dim at first, shining on the tracks. A blue bullet to shoot me into town. Girls, right now, here I come. I have a girl I want to write with. Soon. <laughs> Sigh. Hope she'll be here soon. I am here in the office, shaking off the chill. She calls. Hope fulfilled. The girl is here now. We write. <laughs>